Groovy family. So this was a requested video once again. Nice. That we decided to do. So if you are not following me on Instagram or Brayden, make sure you do that because we put questions up for you guys to answer for videos like this. Anyway, so the question that we're doing today is just any question that you guys really have um, for advice or really anything. We opened it up to whatever and then we are answering them separately. Because we're experts on Obviously. relationships and marriage. <laughs> After one year, we're ready for anything. Oh, oh, definitely. So anyway, we're going to be answering separately so we don't know how or the, what we answer it. If that makes we don't know each other's answers. <laughs> yes. oh, okay. Question time. <laughs> it's just me and you now, okay? We don't have to worry about you know who. So first one. When is a good time to start having kids? So this is one of those questions I think is just personal to everyone in a way. I feel like there's necessarily no right or wrong time for like a specific right or wrong time. I think it's whenever you feel ready and you feel confident and you feel like you can handle it. Because from what I hear, kids are a lot, especially when it's your first kid and you are unexperienced and everything. So it's something that you and your significant other should talk about and think about the whoa, no no something that you guys should really discuss and think logically <laughs> that's where i struggle it's i just i really want kids i don't think logically and that's when Braden comes in is because obviously he wants kids but he thinks more logically than i do there's no correct no there is a correct answer the correct answer is when you're ready, right? Um, kids are something that, as a couple, you should typically have a good idea as to when each other wants to start having kids. There's no hard numerical answer, whether you're married or just, you know, in a normal relationship. Um, a good time to start having kids is when you both feel ready. You know, All right, question feel... two. How much do you like your subscribers? Check your Instagram messages. <laughs> I know where this one's <laughs> coming from. Um, we love our subscribers. I know we don't mention it a lot, but we really appreciate it. We don't have, obviously, a ton. We're, we're brand new to YouTube, but we appreciate and we love you guys and we're surprised we even have subscribers. And so thank you and we love hearing and reading your comments and suggestions on videos and everything. So make sure you keep doing that. Um, as far as Instagram messaging, I do have a few messages from different subscribers that are just messaging me like, hey, what's up, how you doing, that kind of thing. Um, and we love you guys, however we are super busy people so we don't usually message back if we don't know you personally um don't this doesn't mean that we're never gonna message you like if you respond to something from our stories or if you ask us a question through instagram we're obviously gonna respond we're gonna answer as quick and as best as possible but we're just not gonna hold conversations unless we personally know you if that makes sense well honestly at this point in our channel i didn't think we would have very many subscribers so we're very grateful for every single one that we have we're almost at 100 i think as of today we're at like 99 or something when we're filming this um i'll be honest I need to be better at checking my Instagram. Um, I don't have any messages on Instagram currently, so I don't know what that's about. But um, we like our subscribers very much, and we hope to get more of them, as many as we can, to just help positively impact their lives and maybe have some entertainment out there that's good and wholesome. So uh, we, we love our subscribers. Okay, third question. Best way y'all have found to spend time 
with each other when y'all are super busy? That's a super good question because Bray and I are both very busy, especially <laughs> recently. Um, I think the best way to answer this question is to set aside specific time for each other and not just wait for something to come up that you guys can do together, but actually make those plans. A lot of it is just when you have time, take it. And if you are finding that you're not having any like naturally occurring time together, you just kind of got to make some. Um, so the best way to spend time, I think, is just to make sure that you make time doing whatever it is that you can do together. Um, question four. Biggest pet peeve that your significant other does? Um, that is a good question. I'm interested to see what he says for me. I think this has become less of a pet peeve the more I think about it and do it, but I clean the house constantly i'm making dinner every night i'm the only one that does the laundry usually and i'm always just cleaning like picking up and vacuuming and ev all of that and i just it got to the point obviously like anyone else that you'd be like what the heck why am i doing everything um but i do realize like if i ask brian to do something he does it sometimes it takes him a little bit but he always makes sure to do the things i ask him to do I just always clean because I get stressed with the dirty apartment and that's on me, like that's just something I do. Hmm. The uh, cheesy answer is my wife is perfect um, for me. She's not a perfect individual, she still makes mistakes as do we all. And I'm trying to think what would a pee of mine be that she does? Sometimes, at night, when she's asleep, she she doesn't snore. Oh, excuse me. Hiccup. She doesn't snore, but she does breathe very loudly. Like, and I don't know if that's worse or better than snoring, or maybe they're just equal, but if I'm still awake and I hear that, then it's really hard for me to fall asleep, so. Um, how did you know he or she was the one? He basically checked off all okay not all my boxes a lot of them were out of reach because his name wasn't chris hemsworth and he didn't live in australia you know that kind of stuff i don't know i just i couldn't get enough of him i always wanted to be around him and i liked what i saw when i thought about our future together there's a wasp okay i didn't for a very long time i think you know i say this but I'm a very imperfect person, and I think that once I realized that she could easily, um, like, just live with me, not live with me making mistakes, but once she could um, move past mistakes and, like, see past, like, any little, like, imperfections that I have, like, that really was the time that I kind of knew, like, I wanted to be with her forever because... Um, that's a super important thing to me because I know I'm not perfect and I know I'm going to make mistakes and so I knew that I needed someone that was going to take uh, the good times with the bad and uh, she definitely can. She can roll with the punches and she she's a tough lady. <laughs> when are you guys going to have babies? I need a baby Kirby. <laughs> I will say this. That has been a discussion and been up in the air for a long time. We've been going back and forth for quite some time now. It's in a situation now where, you know, if we accidentally had a kid, it'd be fine, but planned somewhat soon, I'd say. Um, you know, eight, we don't do you have regret kids. marrying young while still in school or are you happy with your decision? This is actually something we joke about a lot, or at least I think we're joking. I don't know if he's serious, but I don't regret it, no. I really don't. I do miss the college experience with roommates and um, that social life. But life living with him has been, I don't want to say more fun. It's been a lot of, it's been more fun in different ways, I guess you can say. Obviously, marrying young, you have your struggles. And with both of us being college students, like money has been a problem since day one. And that's usually why we joke about maybe we married, got married too soon just because 
if we're stressed about something it's usually money and that's not something fun to stress about when you're newlyweds so i don't regret it at all i think it has its perks to it so you know there have been times where i think like oh maybe we did get married a little too soon but i've never regretted getting married so soon you know we were both 20 turning 21 um the next like month after we got married so um i didn't really think we were too young i don't think we were too young i think that we could have perhaps waited but i don't think that it's a bad thing that we didn't i think we both knew that we loved each other and we wanted to be with each other and honestly i'd rather go through the struggles that we go through now together than doing it on my own while still trying to maintain a relationship. Um, so. Nine, what's the stupidest thing in your opinion that y'all have argued over? <laughs> oh boy, that is hard. I, the person that comes to my mind is, he he's very political, I am not. I have my political views and disagreements with things, but I don't, let's just say I don't use my freedom of speech as much as he does he uses social media to um take advantage of his freedom of speech which isn't wrong everyone does that i don't even remember what it was a post about is something political and i just thought he shouldn't post it it's just gonna start arguments it's gonna make people get mad at him and i was getting mad at him for wanting to even post it and it was just stupid and we got in this big argument but it doesn't last long if we're on the same page and we're like talking about it to each other and it's kind of like we're preaching to the choir <laughs> and we're arguing and we're both taking the same side we're just saying it differently but somehow it turns into an argument like no this is this no this is this when it's really just the same thing we're just saying it differently and we argue so i think that's the that's the stupidest things that we argue over. And I don't um, last one. Well, this will be the last one for now. Um, how do you bring up a tough subject with your significant other? Flat out say it. Like, let's say something terrible that you've done. I don't know. Just flat out say it right off the bat and then talk about this or that. Or if it's something you already disagreed over in the past, say, I know this is how you view it. I know this is where you stand but this is where i stand like make sure they know that you understand their side if that's in part of it i don't know i'm the worst i'm sorry guys you just gotta be open you know don't don't step too lightly around the subjects you know you gotta be straightforward you don't want to miscommunicate something misconvey something you know that's it's your spouse or your significant other so you gotta make sure that they're understanding where you're coming from because the last thing you want is to miscommunicate how you're actually feeling and then have them act in a way that doesn't meet your needs. Well, we answered. Were you being nice? Haley. <laughs> I'm just joking. What? We missed, we did about 10 questions, so if we missed yours, I'm sorry. Um, maybe we'll have to do another video like this if you guys like it. But thank you to everyone who put in a question or anything like a question, same I guess whatever you put in, we thank you. And thank you for just being a subscriber or even a watcher. But if you are just a watcher, make sure you like and subscribe this video so that you know when our next video will be up, which we post every Wednesday. So stay tuned, every we have- single Wednesday. Every single Wednesday. We have stuff coming up, so make sure you, you stay tuned and subscribe so you know when those videos are up. Yup. <laughs> Stay excited. <laughs> Haley just likes to say everything. She doesn't leave anything for me. <laughs> but anyway, we love you, Kirby family, and hope you like this video.